little bit just because it's so warm. Okay. Do you want to keep these right here? Mm. Mm. No. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. I feel lost. You feel lost? Yeah, I just it's so I don't funny. Know what my brain is doing. Let's bring this one down. Okay. What's up, you guys? Okay, well, we're gonna make some recipes. And I got this cute little stand, so maybe you guys can see the recipes now. And when I say I got it, my sister in law was donating it, so I just was the proud winner of it. So what we're gonna be making today. What's up? Melissa and April and Jennifer. Surprise bag. I'm so excited for these surprise bags, Jennifer. And did you see you were one of the winners from yesterday too, Jennifer, from the January orders? What's up, Kimberly? Um, yes, the surprise bags are available. We launched them today. They are gonna be really fun. A lot of people are doing double. So if you guys are doing double surprise packs, we have a lot of people buying two of them. You will end up not with two of like the same thing. It'll just be more stuff, more surprise stuff. It's actually gonna be kind of fun. Yeah. Um, so that's how those are gonna work. But the surprise bags are launched and they're ready to go. So, listen, aw, well, I wish you won, Jennifer. You won that. So now let's make some, so I think what we're gonna make first is the chicken, or no, the cowboy burger bowls. Is the rice done? Uh, the rice is done. Yeah. Or no, rice, let me see. Rice has, rice has six minutes. So you can prepare the Let me see, hold on. Meat part and so if you guys are in meal prep, these recipes are still up. Surprise bags. Yeah, check them out. But these recipes are still up. These ones are usually gone on Wednesday. We do still have them up. We've been keeping them up till the Monday. So that way, when you sign up, you get two weeks of recipes. Um, so these are not this weekend's recipes. We are behind, so this is last week's recipes, like that you guys are eating this week. Okay, so the cowboy chicken bowls, so five to six. Are these too big? Um, I'll probably put everything in their individual serving things. Okay. I'm gonna put every, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna put, put like the meat in one, the rice in one. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or should I separate? So it's the only reason I'm not sure is because it's for my sister and Santos and. You're not sure what they'll like. What would you do? I don't know. Maybe I'll put them in there. I'll just make them all up. That way my kids can grab one and eat, heat them up and go. Okay, so you need six. Yeah, Two, six. Three, six. Okay, you guys, we are going to make them separate. I wasn't sure how. Usually if it was us, I would do, I would separate everything in their own containers. And when I say that. Um, I would do like the, the rice in its own container. I would do the rice cauliflower in its own container, the meat in its own container. And then that day we, Zach and I would assemble ours. That's how we would do it. But Zach and I are leaving. So it's the red lids. Zach and I are actually leaving town today for a marriage retreat. We're headed to the beautiful town of Cincinnati, um, for a marriage retreat. That's what we're doing. Beautiful town. You guys like how I said beautiful town of Cincinnati? Um, we've actually never been to Cincinnati, so this will be fun. Find something fun to do. Find something fun? I think they have all this stuff planned the entire time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't put this in here, right? No, I did not. Cool. Not no, yet. Yet. So, that's what we're doing. And Zach is so confused. If you guys have it, a husband that's like... So we've never done anything, marriage therapy, marriage nothing, marriage nothing. So marriage retreat, he he and I, neither of us know what to expect. We can't even figure out what we're getting ourselves into, but we'll see. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> but I know it can't hurt. Here's the thing, doing this stuff is really good. We did marriage counseling, I actually take that back, before we got married, our pastor that married us. What do you mean are we going with another couple? There should be like 50 couples there. It's like a whole room of unhappy people. No, I'm just kidding. We're not all unhappy. <laughs> no, there's like 
50 couples in this thing. It's not just Zach and I. No, there's gonna be a ton of people. This is like a seminar or something. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> no, it's not just Zach and I, and I kind of hope that that's what he's thinking. He's outside, so he can't hear me. He probably in his head thinks yeah. it's him and I. It's gonna be it's, a ton of people. It's a ton of people. He's gonna have to talk to people. <laughs> The best part is he's the type that'll sit there and listen and be like, this is none of us. Like, they, we don't have any of these problems. We, we're just so happy. Yeah, and I'm they like. Don't mind. They, they don't identify that, so. <laughs> and I, we get, probably. <laughs> oh, no, no. Another couple with friends. No, all of our friends are all happy, right? You guys are all super happy. I can't complain. <laughs> It does depend on the day. <laughs> They're happy too. I know. No, none of our friends are going, it's just Zach and I. It's just Zach and I. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Okay. What's up, Tori? What's up, you guys? Let's. And if you guys are in the app with us, you guys something's not right with our app. We are trying so hard to get messages done. Um, we are trying so hard to get messages done and assessments done that this morning, that's what I've been doing. How in the world did y'all get signed up? My mother-in-law signed us up. She found it. Um, but messages are not working. So I actually sent it over to first form and it's just our app. That's not really working right. Something's wrong. So the developer got in there. He fixed something, I guess. And now it's going six times faster. So instead of like two minutes of loading, it's maybe loading in like 20 seconds. So I have to test it out. It's really slow. So bear with us. We are trying so hard. We can't even pull somebody up. Um, so if you guys are in the app asking us questions, this is, it's been slow for about two or three days. And if I've sent you a message and you guys can't see the message I sent you, it's because like some people can't open the videos. We're trying to get all this fixed. Yay! If this is your guys' first meal prep, we don't do these every Thursday. We kind of do them once a week. We try once a week. Gives me the look like, now what? That's like every... I know. Zach has no idea what we are doing. No, I, I don't really know either, though. I have no idea. I think it's Christian-based. It's like faith-based, and it's military-based. That's all I know. I think it's like military... Like you... It's a lot I'm of military families. I about how it goes. I, me too. I, I can't wait. Think, I don't think Bo would ever do one. I don't I would do one, but I don't think he would. I feel like I'm not going to get Zach to wake up and I'm sitting there by myself tomorrow. Morning. Well, I'm sure they'll, <laughs> maybe like the military, then they'll drag him out of bed. <laughs> I feel like I'm never going to get up. That's so funny. Okay. We'll um have an SOS button. You're close. That's funny. Here, I'll ask Zach. Zach, can I ask you a question real quick? I don't know. Report, start me off here. You guys won't hear. We'll ask Zach the question. You guys, stay tuned for our question. Here we go. Zach, how do you feel about our marriage retreat we're going on this weekend? That's my answer. Everybody's wondering how you feel about it. This is my answer. <laughs> you don't know what it is, right? That's how I feel. Okay, I, have no I, idea. I don't either. I have I don't no either. idea. But you're excited. I picture a nerd. I picture, picture a guy with a braided belt. You picture nerd and got no. Do you picture? Do you think it's only us going? No. There's gonna be other couples that want to be friends. I don't want to be their friend. Oh. They're gonna to want to talk and then. No, I said it's good. But we should have went with you. They're gonna think they're, they're gonna think they're like us, and I say no, pal. I knew it. He said they're gonna think they're like us, and he's gonna say no. You get along with the girls. It's a ton of unhappy people that are gonna be there. I told you. The guys will probably drive me crazy. Zach hates people, so this is going to be great. Even when they get an hour free, you'd be like, yeah, let's go hang out with them. I'm going to hang out with the girls. You go hang out with the dudes. <laughs> He's like literally, he hates people. He doesn't really like people. He likes you guys. <laughs> so it's going to be really interesting. The marriage retreat, they're so, so good. They're good to stay your best in your marriage. Oh, Tina. Tina said they're really good to stay your best in your marriage. See? I know it. I've heard great things about yeah, them. It'll be good. It'll be good. It can't be bad. No. I mean, no. here's the thing. 
It can't be that bad. We have no kids there. Just give us. So they actually did make a note that said, do not bring kids or dogs or animals. I mean, oh. like no kids or animals because it's distractions. So that's the silver lining. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's make these. Let's just make them. Okay, hold up. We're going to assemble these. I need a knife. Meat and tablespoon sugar. So these are kind of fun because you guys can top these with whatever we want. One, two, three, four. We're going to do six bowls is what I'm doing. I'm thinking about mixing the rice with the rice cauliflower. That's, well, it said to... I know to keep them separate, but I think I kind of want to mix them. We might as well, I feel like. That's what's going to happen anyway. Movie oh, no. Okay, Andy. That's the problem, is I've watched that movie, Andy. That's actually the problem, is I've watched <laughs> that movie. And Zach probably has, too. And Zach 100% thinks that that's what it's going to be like. It's some guy in a braided belt, he said. He's like, it's going to be some dude in a braided belt trying to tell us how to be married. He's like, it's going to be a beta male. Man, I hope it's some big old alpha male that's like, I hope it's like the rock. Like he comes walking in like, yo. I, I can't wait. I hope so too. But who cares? But we have watched Marriage Retreat. One time, I have to tell you guys, I kid you not. One time we went to Costa Rica. Well, Zach, first of all, wanted to stay in a hostel. So we were going on a pre-deployment trip, meaning pre-deployment trips are when your husband's about to deploy. A lot of times couples will go on a trip. Families will go on a trip just to kind of connect because training to go to deploy out of country, they're gone all the time. So he was gone. The whole workup, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. Um, it's, it's called UTP, unit training phase, they're gone. So then they get a couple weeks off to be with the family and to spend time with the family before they deploy. So that is what was happening and so we went to Costa Rica and we're like, you know what? We'll do a surfing trip because he really enjoys surfing and the outdoors. We plan this retreat, you guys, or we plan this trip. It's going to be a week long. It's a trip. Just him and I going on a beautiful like vacation. He wants to stay in a hostel. And I'm like, wait, a hostel? Like I just picture people getting like murdered in hostels. I didn't understand what he meant by hostel. Yeah. He wanted to stay in this house with a bunch of couples with like, there's no pool where people bring you drinks. There's no like, like you're on an agenda, an itinerary, and you're in this bed, you're in a big open room sleeping, like everybody has their bed and you wake up in the morning at 5 a.m. and go get on your surfboard and go out there together and surfing. No, and I was like, I was so mad. It was such a fight. And I was like, Jan, I was talking to my mother-in-law. I was like, he seriously thinks we're gonna go stay at this hostel. Like this, this like, it's like a bro sesh. Everybody hangs out in here and gets up at like 4 a.m. to get to the best surfing. I'm like, no, 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 no. It was so, I have never like been so mad because we were spending a lot of money to go on this trip. And we're gonna and it was called Witch's Camp. It was called the Witch Camp or something. It was called Witch, it was called Witch's Camp in Costa Rica in Tamarindo. Look it up, you guys. It's called Witch's Camp. That's where he wanted to take me. And we were literally, it literally was like, like a bungalow with, a bunch of just like surfing dudes get in there and surfing people and you just it's the whole thing's revolved around surfing and never around like sitting by the pool getting pampered i was like absolutely not i need the pool and the pamper yes there was no pool oh no you went out to like i was like there's no way we're spending this much money to go on a trip to go stay in like like the it was like i have to show you guys which is surf camp do you have your phone i'm showing you guys I'm gonna show you guys exactly where he wanted to take me. <laughs> Cause it, this is, this is real life. And he was 100% serious. Which is surf camp. I have to show you guys the rooms. Cause I was like, there's no way he's serious. There's no way he's serious. He was serious. This is it. Okay you guys, this is where we were gonna go. They actually did have a pool. I didn't realize they had a pool. But, hold on. They actually redid the place. It's updated, huh? How long ago was that? It was like six years ago. Okay. But I just want to find the rooms. Because I was like, you're kidding me. 
I was so mad. We may have had to change it with COVID. I was like, I never, I was like, there's no way I'm doing this. I'm not doing it. I, I just want to find the rooms because the rooms were like, not what I, like there wasn't even doors. It was like a microwave in the middle. If anybody wants to come use the microwave, you guys can microwave stuff. That sounds horrible. It was horrible. Not something I want to sign up for. Oh no, this is the room. This is the room. Each person got a little room like this. We all got a room like this at Witch's Surf Camp. This is the room. And there was like 18 of them shoved in this little place. That's, I'm not even kidding. That's actually the room. Here, I'll show you guys the room too. And it's cool if you're a surfer, but that's the room that you get for like your $10,000. I was like, nope. Oh no, this is the place. This is it. This is the place. And this is, this is like, oh my. Isn't this hilarious? You guys, look, this is it. Like some of the beds are in like the hallway and you come downstairs with all your friends and this is it. Like that's a bed. You guys, this is where we almost stayed for our $10,000 trip. And I was, I like fought hard. So don't worry, we didn't do that. <laughs> I was like, why don't we get a beachfront place at an all-inclusive place? He thinks all-inclusive is not smart. He thinks it's stupid, but I love it. Okay, let's keep doing these. So yeah, traveling with my husband is stressful. <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> so like our retreat, Jennifer, kind of like your retreat. <laughs> Zach wasn't on our retreat, remember, Jennifer? That's hilarious, she said. Yeah, but it was like our pre-deployment trip. It wasn't like, it was like, okay, we're going on this trip and you're deploying the next day to Iraq. I think he was going to Iraq or Afghanistan. I can't remember. And I was like, are you kidding me? I was so mad. I was so mad. So I did get, um, so this is the recipe that you guys can add anything else on to make it some more things in your guys' burger bowl. Um, I got pickles. I got a bunch of this stuff. I'm actually going to dice them up real quick. Where did I put them? The pickles. I bought French fried onions. I bought the pickles. I bought... I bought all the fun toppings for them. So when you're making the burger bowls, think about how can we make this like a burger. Make it a burger that you guys enjoy. That's what you guys are doing. Tina, she said, I'm pretty adventurous, but oh, heck to the no. Yeah, that's what I, exactly what I said. I was like, no, 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 no. Yep. And I'm gonna dice up some pickles because who doesn't like dill pickles on their burger? I do. I love pickles. Me too. I am preparing a sausage for the breakfast pizza. That's what I'm doing over here. Awesome. So you know. Never in my life, and I was so stressed, you guys, going there. If you didn't see my video I posted yet, before we were going, I was so stressed. So we had to be there for tryouts. And they here's the problem. So baseball here starts in, like, August. Like, that's when tryouts are, is the August before the season. And then they practice all winter. Like, baseball for the travel teams, it's a, it's a commitment. Um, so they're, that's how it is. So here I found that out and I've been calling teams and everything's full for his age. Everything's been full since August. So I started calling in like November, December and no one had any rooms for his age. And I was like, man. So then I happened to call this other team that the wrestling coach told me about. And they were like, we actually just had a kid 
quit in his age group. And I was like, oh, I was like, well, can he try out? Like, so they let him try out. You guys, the guy said, can you be here tomorrow night at five? I'm like, yeah, totally cool. Like we can be there tomorrow night at five. He gets out his glove. He hasn't thrown a ball or anything in a year. But if you know anything about baseball, like even if it's been a year, you still know like you're, you're just a ball player. So it, it was like no big deal. It's a natural thing. If that's a sport you, you're good at, it's, it's just a natural thing. Whatever, it's not my thing. I'm, I suck at it. But he gets out his glove and starts playing catch with Zach, and his glove explodes. His glove explodes. His mitt thing. And Zach sews it together with a shoelace. He's like lacing it together with a shoelace. And I'm like, Zach, I have to go. I was so, I was like stressed and I was mad because I don't like being late, let alone to the kids' first ever practice or tryouts with the all-star team that's letting him try out. I was so mad. I was like, so I text the coach. I'm like, I'm going to be five minutes late. And I'm like freaking out because I don't like being late. And so we get there and I tell him then, I said, I'm so sorry. I said, his glove literally broke right before we got in the car and my husband had to sew it back together with these shoelaces. And he just started laughing, but Colton made the team. I was so excited. So they... And they have like 79 games, which is a lot, I feel like, for a 10 year old. Me too. I, that's how I am, Christy. I'll play catch with my kids. And some of the balls I throw, and it's like perfect. It's like, holy cow, you have an arm. And then the next one I throw, literally do the same thing, and it like, it goes the other way. And I'm like, I don't, I cannot get it accurate every time. I just can't. Sometimes they hit the ground within five feet. <laughs> My kids get so mad playing catch with me. They hate it. I am not a natural, like, ball player. Okay, we got this. I know. Oh, I'm going to put these in here. I'm just cutting up everything, you guys, that way we can finish making these. 79 games. I know, Christy. I know. They were like, make sure you guys have nothing planned the end of June. That's our big tournament in Columbus. Like, we don't. Okay, with that. Cheese. I set it out on it. Oh, you did? It's right here. Is it? Cool. Okay, so we have the food scale. Thank you. Ounces. Grams. Wednesday. We're just. Oh, that was quick. Well, they already. They've been practicing since August. Okay. Yeah, they've already been practicing, so it's like, oops. That's nice that it opened up. Then. Dude, I know. I'm so excited. Yep. Melissa. I'm meal prepping for my sister. My sister and them are coming to watch the kids this weekend. Oh my, I keep going up from where it was. My sister and uh, her husband are coming to watch the kids for us. So that's what's happening here. So they'll have some food prepped. Tara, how's it better? Amanda, Yes, you'll see tonight. It's a surprise for you. Yes, he, I don't know. He goes through spurts or he just fights a fever. It's the weirdest thing ever. But he can't wait for you to get here, Amanda. You should have seen his face this morning. 
He was so excited. But he, I feel like we just have to keep medicine in him. As long as you keep Advil in him and Tylenol, he's, he's good. It keeps the fever down and it keeps him, and it keeps him, um, out of pain because his uh his headache he's had a really good headache lately okay we're almost done with these burger bowls I promise if you guys actually just make this I'm in yes yes we just move here brandy we just moved here. Yes, correct. We just moved here. That, that, cheese. So now is when you guys can add French fried onions, whatever else you guys want. That's Midwest. No, baseball in the South and in like North Carolina, there, it's a big baseball state um, in the Carolinas and then South. And then St. Montana, baseball, the travel ball was big, but it didn't start till the spring for travel ball even in north carolina it didn't start till spring spring trials were in the spring in the early spring I, like we've never had them be august unless you played fall ball like that was always called fall ball so when here i was like <sighs> so we've never had that it's to be that early but he's excited pickles are good You guys, these are ready. Starts at, we're in Iowa, starts in August. That's crazy. Yeah, that's how fall ball is in North Carolina. For kids that played, our son always did soccer. But then, but yeah, it's good here. But baseball starts here, like if you're on a rec league or a regular league, it doesn't start till March. I think the assessment days are March like 17th and 18th because I think our other son, he might play. He likes baseball. He just isn't at the travel ball level. He's just that, like Wyatt, he's not quite, I don't know. He, he's, he's a good athlete, but he's not, he wouldn't be able to make the travel ball team and he just not his, yeah. So they have assessments though, I think March 17th and 18th here for them um, to see if they make the A team, B team, all that stuff. But he's not sure if he's gonna do it. Okay, so those are made, and now you're gonna add anything you want. Think about burger. These are cowboy burger bowls. That's how we think about those. Next, we're gonna do the chicken bacon ranch dip. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna just get my blender, my hand blender. Okay. Um, how advanced do you want the pizza to be? Because like you bake the crescents first. Yeah, we'll do it up to the part of baking it. Or like, so I'm gonna make the scrambled egg. No, we'll just make it all. We'll make it all. We'll just make okay. it all. Because I'm leaving. My sister won't make any of it. Okay. My sister, she'll be better with it just in its own meat. Just if it's warmed up. Yep. All right. Just heat so, it up. Mm -hmm. I am going to get that burning. <sighs> yep. Yep. Okay, you guys, we're making the, the dip now. So this is the chicken bacon ranch dip. Gosh, it's like two o'clock almost. That's crazy. Do you guys have basketball tonight? Uh, yeah. Practice. Oh, just that's good. Practice. It's that's like good. an hour and a half, and then so I got a text while you're on your workout. So we have um, so Saturday he has a game at nine, and then they'll have if they do well there, then they'll have one at like three forty or four o'clock, something like that. Where and at? then this is all in Canton, and then if he 
if they do well with those, then we could possibly play at 6, 10, or 7 o'clock. Oh my. So I'll be in Canton all day. Saturday. Gosh. Yeah. It's going to be a long day. That's going to be a really long day. Are we doubling this one for you two? Uh, yeah. Chicken Baker Ranch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is this the bowl we're using? Awesome. Oops. Yes, that sounds good, Christy. That's cups. I feel like you had the cups out. The cups? The mint. Oh yeah, you did. Cooperstown. Where's Cooperstown? I have no idea. Is that in Ohio? I don't know. I, I don't know either. I have no idea where Cooper, So I Columbus, I know is one of their big tournaments. Um they said it's a lot of summit and Stark County. Oh, Stark County is good. Stark County and Summit. Where's Summit? I don't know about is that is that Akron? Summit might be Akron area. Know. That sounds great right to me, but I could be wrong. I don't know. What is it? This crescent here looks all the fun and stuff, but it's out of state, Maryland. I have no idea. To be completely honest, I don't know. So they're little league so we've always done um cal ripken has always been like what we, we've done in montana and every league we've been part of is cal ripken this one here is little league so like if they made it to like the the best the biggest of the biggest with cal ripken it's in florida that's where like the nationals are or whatever here it's little league world series um i need more do we have playing green Gilbert? uh yes we do yeah okay but um, here it's um Okay, Regina said yes, Summit County is Akron. Okay. So yeah, they'll play a lot of those teams. Greek yogurt, you guys, is a way better thing to use than sour cream. Way better to use than sour cream. High in protein, way less in fat. Especially if you use plain Greek yogurt. Um, I don't know. So it's always been so nice when the boys play on the same team you got, to be honest. Like, this is going to be hard. If Col Wyatt decides to play soccer and Colton does baseball, it's going to be hard to keep up. I feel like Zach and I are just going to be, like, separating for to be who's the – we're just going to be, like, Take taxis. Yeah. Take turns. It's going to be you're going to soccer, I'm going to baseball type thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Somebody used vanilla Greek yogurt on her taco. That would not be good. Def if you're desperate, you know, I don't know. I actually hate yogurt, but tried it with my tacos and I can't even taste the sourness. Oh, really? I actually hate yogurt, but tried it with my tacos. So you have to look at Greek yogurt almost like sour cream. I always think of Greek yogurt. When I eat Greek yogurt, I know it's going to taste like sour cream. I would never just see, sit there and eat a bowl of sour cream. That's disgusting. But if I do it and I know it's, and I'm eating it as sour cream, like on a taco, I'm fine. I'm the same way. I have to think mm -hmm. of what the best word to use for. Yep, that's exactly how I am. Two ounces, four ounces. And if you guys wonder why I'm putting so much stuff in here, it's because I'm doubling the recipe for Chris Anna. I like when Tara cooks for me. <laughs> I know, find a friend to meal prep with. Zach and I are gonna be fighting over who has to take cope. I feel like that's gonna be the fight, is who gets to take cope to that practice that night. Um.
Did you get the tablespoons out? Uh, yep. Over there. Um. And this dip, you guys, is good with veggies, chips, pita bread, whatever you guys want. Oops, might help if I turn this thing on. Okay, sorry. scrolled up on us okay there we go that we need the chicken and now this is one of the things you guys can change the chicken if you guys need to increase the chicken on this so you want to make it higher protein increase the chicken that's what you guys would always increase is the lean protein you don't have to increase everything that just makes it a bigger thing of the same recipe Okay, let's get our food scale out. These food scales are great. Make sure you guys have a food scale. Those crazy days will be called later on. Okay, these food scales are great. Have a food scale. It's gonna help you guys with um, a lot of this stuff. Making recipes. What well, smells like it's burning? It's the oven. I'll oh. Put the oven on. Oh, the Italian chicken. Oh my, that's probably one of my recipes. My, well, no, it's one of my favorite recipes. Oh, goodness, do you think dairy-free cheese? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of dairy-free cheese. Try it, you can definitely try it. Sorry, I'm just breaking this smaller. I need to. Hold on, we're just gonna cut the I need to chop this smaller. What is it? Okay. I'm just gonna grab this. I bought the rotisserie chicken last night at Walmart. It was on like you could buy it already ripped off the bone, so that's what I did. What does, 
What program does Eli play for? This is just Minerva Youth Baseball. Or are you talking about? No, that's what I'm talking about. Because Wyatt wants to play something. He just, yeah. Does Louisville have it? They do, they do. He just likes to do something more for like fun. Okay. So I couldn't decide. Okay, this is cut. He's never done basic before, so. He'll, I think he'll be good. I think he'll. An experience. It's fun. It's definitely fun. Gabe was good I at like baseball. watching baseball. I'm I was sad that him. Gabe quit because he did. You so were sad well. that Gabe quit? Yeah, he did so well. And like all the time that you. Spent. When did he quit? Uh, I think we did like maybe a year or two of kid pitch and then he was like over it. Okay. Tips, meals, don't see why not. Do you use. I mean, cut this one up. Aaron, and then Aaron never even tried this all at one time. Really? Yeah. Is he going to keep with like golfing or anything or no? Um, I think he'll just, you know, go maybe. Like for fun? Around. Yeah. Golfing is at least a sport you can like always play. Yeah. That's, that's what a fun thing. Like about that. Mm hmm. It's just an expensive sport. It is. So, like, do a round. It's so much money. Her son, her oldest son, is a golfer. He's been on the golf team at school. I, they always say, I've always heard, if you want, like, that's the, not the easiest scholarship to get, but there's not many golfers. So, if you want a scholarship, teach your kid, just have them be a good golfer, because there's not many of them, and if they have, if they could be good. Yes. Yeah. Especially girls. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um. Yeah, but golfing, I don't think my kids have the attention span for it. I don't think Gabe does. Gabe's oh, Gabe trying. definitely doesn't. <laughs> no. Is Eli? Uh, sometimes. We have, like, both have him out a few times, and he seems to like it. They had, when we lived in, like, near Myrtle Beach, they had par three courses, oh, and nice. they were cool because... I like par three. Because they were, like... Like doable, you yeah. didn't have to have a freaking five par court. Like it was fun. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, like that one. I can, I can do a three. Mm -hmm. Don't give me a par five or anything. Or actually, just take me putt putting. I'll just put take you putt. Myrtle Beach. That's where they have all the putt putting in the world. It feels like yeah. every corner. It's, it's like family dollars here in Ohio. Isn't that the truth? Dollar General. I'm gonna increase the protein on ours. Dollar Generals. I think there's one like every seven miles. There's no, no, they're more than every seven miles. Okay. Well, not Dollar Generals, but Dollar Stores. In Montana, that's one thing that was nowhere. No nowhere stores. was there Dollar Stores. We got one. We had one Dollar Store pop up and it was Dollar Tree. That was okay. it. We didn't have any other Dollar Stores. There's a dollar and a quarter now. Not there. There it was still dollar. Oh, here, mm -hmm. a dollar and a quarter. And it was great. And everything's tax free there. Oh. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yep. Okay. Wow. Okay, so we have a lot more protein in this. That's awesome. We, yeah, we do too here. Okay, you guys, this is a double batch. So if you guys are wondering why mine made so much, it's because I'm double batching it and I increased the chicken by a little bit. Instead of the um, amount on there, I did... We did 32 ounces. Do you want yours in a foil pan or what? Uh, yeah, that would be fine. Whatever, whatever you've got. I've got a couple of wear, a couple wear, a couple of your chopper wear at my house. I need to bring. That's funny. Where are the spatulas? That's what I'd like to know. I was like, does Cope have them? Oh, Cope does have them in this one. This is where his little crap is. 
Cope now does his Easy Bake Oven, and he has my spatulas. That's true. Now that Cope's in the kitchen, you guys, Cope has an Easy Bake Oven. He loves it. Loves making his food on his Easy Bake Oven. And that's where our stuff is. Makes sense. I'm just going to do this, like, for a second, just to get a good one. Okay. I haven't caught up with you guys in forever. Cope is so grown up, isn't he? Um, I think that's the one thing I couldn't find at the store. Okay. But I, have, I think I have dry chives in there. Did you not see the dry ones? Mm -hmm. oh. That's okay. I mean, if you don't want them on your breakfast yep. pizza, then don't stress about it. Okay, so let's put this in the thing. We'll top it. Oh, wait. Well, we just have to cut the bacon. Like, I'm going to chop the bacon. We'll put this in two different things. One for you, one for here. Oh, so you do bacon? Yeah. Okay, you guys. This is facing like the wrong this way. One? That one was facing like the wrong way. Oh, because you I couldn't another find retreat. I think I miss anymore. everything. There is, there is gonna be another retreat. April will now be the one in Topsail Beach. The one in the summer, that summer retreat will still happen. Um what was I getting? Okay, I need the do you know where the pan is? It's over here. Like the non-stick spray. Okay. Yes, there will still be retreats this year. Stay tuned. We are the one in um, Topsail Beach had to change to April. Oops. Where did Zach go? Uh, probably upstairs hiding from us so we can't have him involved in anything. Right. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be asked about the retreat any, no, anymore. You done. You done. Okay. Them away. Here's the other half. Okay. And then I did. <laughs> he can't. It's so funny because I can't even say that I know what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna cut those. I'm gonna throw the leftover there. So I didn't. Okay, you guys. Oh, man, I am exhausted. If you guys did today's workout, what do you dip in the chicken bacon ranch dip? I'll probably do carrots, celery, or chips. I love um, like carrots dipped in this kind of stuff. It's so good. But I also like tortilla chips. Yep, just make sure if you do chips, you just do the one serving. Make sure you guys pull out a serving and you don't over, go overboard on that part. It's easy when you pull out a huge bag of potato chips to just keep going to town, so it's, it's best to just pull out one serving. We made the bacon this morning. I still need a pack. Why well, still have to wash clothes?
yesterday. I think one of who ran yesterday. Straight to go. Ran two days ago, you guys. Um, our horse got third place, which was better than last. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's good. April is gonna just be a meetup in Topsail. It's just gonna be a meetup in Topsail. Did they give you an itinerary for the weekend? No, I saw one online though. Um, I just have to print it. Yeah, I did see one online. guys this is done this is done it's done so this meal it's done if this is um the chicken versus what's it called chicken bacon chicken bacon ranch dip so you guys it's super filling you guys can literally just pull out some vegetables and eat it and make it like an easy dinner while you're watching wrestling watching baseball watching something this is an easy 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 one that's really nutrient dense and when i say the words nutrient dense that means it has Lots of protein, healthy carbs, healthy fats, all of that stuff in it. Bacon, I know bacon's really high in calories, but animal fat, you guys, it's not bad for us. Animal fat is going to be, and it's not a bad fat. I know people get really nervous of bacon. Um, that's crazy, Melissa. No, it's not Mother's Day weekend. Okay, but yeah, animal fats, don't be scared of them. We need fats in our diet. But, okay, so it's not the Mother's Day weekend anymore. It is April. It's April. I can't remember the date. Lynn knows it. <laughs> I can't remember the date. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm just going to bake this real quick. Two. 15 minutes. Is anything? Oh, no. No. Uh, kitchen timer. Okay, and now we just have to make the pizza and we're done. We've got to make the pizza though. We have to assemble the pizza. It's all ready. I don't need to cut anything. I've got the sausage done, the eggs are done. I probably just need the cheese. Man, this looks amazing, you guys. Amazing. So. This is the breakfast pizza that we're making right now. We're doing the breakfast pizza. Super simple. So I'm going to set it up here so you guys can see what's happening. Breakfast pizza. So it's huge. We got to top it with all of this stuff now. So she actually already made back there. She already made the whole everything to put on it. Um, but hold on. Let me see everything. This is all yours. That's I, I, You didn't double it? I'll make that at home. Okay. Because I, I didn't want to take the... I wouldn't have cared. Stuff. So this, I think, goes first. Yeah. Oh, man. My leg... I'm like... The legs are dead. I'm just dead. My body is beat. Did you double any of it for your house? Not this. No. Because I'll, I'll just... No. I'll just take this stuff home and make it. It's fine. I'm probably going to make it tomorrow. Breakfast. It's simple enough. It is simple enough. Okay, so this is the breakfast pizza, you guys. If you guys have been seeing pictures of people posting breakfast pizza, this is this is exactly what they're meaning. 
And if you wonder, like, will your kids eat it? My kids will eat this stuff. If, I'm not gonna lie, if I bought cereal, that's what they would buy. I, I had to stop buying cereal because my kids needed to get back in the routine of eating eggs every morning, eggs and toast. My kids would love this, but I just can't have sugar cereal around or they'll pick that. Um, yep, my kids love Fruity Pebbles and we got in a really bad, 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 bad cycle of buying Fruity Pebbles every time we went to the store. Mm -hmm. It was bad. Cereal doesn't last that long. No, cereal, I, I stopped buying it. Well, I told, about I told a month ago. only allowed one bowl of cereal a day. So you as I watched him, the bowl got bigger every day. <laughs> That's so funny. I said, what are you doing? I'm having my one bowl of cereal you said I could have. That is so That's funny. That's like three in one, Gabe. That is so <laughs> funny. Yep, I, my kids were addicts with that stuff. And I don't blame them. It's good, but there's no nutrients, you guys, that come from sugar cereal. Nothing. Um, so... I just, we took away electronics. I feel like we took away everything. Electronics, sugar, look. That's so funny. <laughs> What's up, Mary Catherine? Okay, so you guys, this is the pizza. Now we just have to top it with. Okay. I'm like, you gonna make it? No, I am freaking beat. I need to eat. Well, maybe it's the smell of all the food. You're just spent. Hey you guys, this is the pizza. This is the breakfast pizza. No one in cereal box. Oh my gosh, Brittany. I about died when he did that. Brittany, I could have beat him. That I was in freaking North Carolina when that happened. And I'm like, I remember we were checking out at Walmart. As I'm watching it, we're at Walmart trying to buy stuff for meal prep because we were trying to get recipes um, made for meal prep because we have to practice all these recipes. It takes a lot of time that goes into the meal prep. We have to practice them, we have to make the macros for all that stuff. And so I'm in the Walmart checkout and I'm like trying to watch him, but I'm trying to pay and I'm like, I, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I like was trying to, I was like losing him and I'm like, what is, I couldn't stop watching to even pay for my food. I, I couldn't even believe it. I was so, <laughs> I was so confused what was happening. Yeah, that was horrible. That was a nightmare. That was a nightmare. This is it, you guys, breakfast pizza. And I think I'm just gonna bake it. Yep, I feel like for my sister. Ready to go. Yep. We're just gonna throw it in here. We're gonna bake it. Oh my gosh, my body, my body hurts. From today here, oh, I don't have whales. We don't have nice. That is very true, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna get off the YouTube one. If you guys are on YouTube, I'm... Oh, that's awesome. Tina. I can't take that from Greek yogurt. I'm gonna be live in like the Facebook group for a minute, but I'm gonna get off of here because we are done cooking everything. We're gonna get this cleaned up. We have to start making this surprise bag. So if you guys have bought a surprise bag, um, we will get them all mailed out. They will all start getting mailed out Monday. Some might get mailed out today, but so we'll be gone tomorrow. Just, but everything's made for them. Okay, so let me 